Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and I am here at MaxLight headquarters in New Jersey, and I am joined by Yumesh Pateri. Welcome. Hi. Nice to meet you, Randy. Very nice to see you again, and I'm so honored to be here in your headquarters and learning all about your products. Tell our audience a little bit about what products you'd like to share with them. So we're gonna talk about C-Max today, C-Max Lighting Controls. Uh, this is a solution from MaxLight. We developed this probably uh, four years ago now, during COVID. And we launched initially with two product offerings called C-Max Basic and C-Max Network. And today we have actually four different offerings. Uh, okay. So we've added more tiers to you know, help solve our customers' problems. All right, so first of all, tell us about C-Max Basic. Okay. So C-Max Basic is a very simple standalone control that is in your fixture. Uh, there is a sensor that has daylight harvesting, motion sensing, it can set high trim. All those capabilities are built into that sensor. So all you have to do is put that sensor into our control ready luminaires, uh, and that's a unique recipe we have. We have a USB-C based sensors. Um, those receptacles are already embedded into our, our, our luminaires, and uh, what you do is then you put the sensor in uh, and program it with a handheld remote, right? Okay. So that's a very, very simple solution. But it's a non-network solution, so the sensor doesn't yeah. talk to its neighbors, right? So it okay. will only do what it is supposed to do. Okay, now contrast that to the C-Max Easy RF. Okay, so C-Max Easy RF is a brand new solution we just literally launched a month ago, okay? And the insight for that was there are many customers of ours who indicated that they would want to simplify the commissioning process. Uh, so they like the flexibility that we offer with C-Max Basic, but they were looking for something more than that, right? right. Uh, so they were looking for network type of capabilities, but they don't want to use an app uh, in, in the commissioning process. So we came up with a brand new system called EZRF, and this is a room-based system um, where you can actually still use a uh, handheld remote to commission your, your sensors, group them, and zone them. So it's a wireless groupable solution. Okay, how important are controls to MaxLight? Very important. You know, I think uh, you're seeing that fundamental shift in the industry that uh, what is that next frontier of energy savings you're gonna get after you do the LED conversion, right? And so the big push today is on controls, um, and we truly see that in our request from our customers, uh, the amount of business we're seeing for controls growing uh, within MaxLight. So for sure, you know, that is the right next tier of uh, energy savings you can extract by adding controls to your luminaires. Okay, and you know when I walked in, I ran into the Kasambi people. All right. So do you have any kind of preference? Are you agnostic? We're agnostic, right? So uh, CMAX truly is a controls agnostic and technology agnostic platform. Um, and that was the intent of the, uh, the design of CMAX, right? So our controls ready luminaires today, we are more than 20 plus luminaires that are, have all these USB-C receptacles built into it. Okay. And we are basically giving you a choice, Randy. Hey, right. if you're a contractor and you want to uh, do a very simple job, but you're not looking for all these advanced features, you have an option from MaxLight, right? Uh, so you're using the same interface, that the USB-C interface, uh, to insert our sensors into your luminaires, essentially. Uh, okay. But if you want to have some advanced technologies built into it, now you can go back a year, two years from now, um, and now you can actually add a new sensor to it, right? So we are making okay. the whole thing future-proof. Uh, we are yeah. giving customers more choices. Uh, we have closed systems and we have open systems like Silver, for example, right? Um, Kasambi solution is a unique solution. They are a Kasambi mesh. Uh, we have Bluetooth NLC from Silver. We have our own proprietary Bluetooth mesh. So we are okay with all kinds of technologies. Okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, th th I think that's the smart way to be. While we're here, tell us a little bit about some of the new fixtures you've launched. Yeah. And I must say, your marketing team does a great job because I am getting uh, information about new fixtures constantly right. in, my, <laughs> uh, in my inbox. So we have a really two-tier strategy uh, when it comes to the fixtures. Uh, we have something called a value series products, which is more like contractor-friendly products. Uh, these are your daily you know, type of products you would need. Stock for and flow. Stock and flow, exactly. And then we have the <clears throat> enhanced series, which okay. is the controls ready products that we sell, but they have more other features also built into it. They may be DLC premium, they have longer uh, warranty time periods, uh, they also have you know, some other things that we have built into it perhaps, right, that you wouldn't find in a value series. So we, we're always trying to find the right balance you know, for, for our customers from a cost standpoint, from a quality, and from a feature set standpoint, right? So 
the new products we have launched uh, recently are some floods we have launched. Um, uh, we had a very new introduction for uh, some of our troughers and flat panel retrofit kits in the last few months. Uh, so we are constantly innovating and you know trying to help our customers save more energy. Okay, so you, you, you hit upon something when you say the right mix. What is the right mix? How do you see the market? Or is the market shifting more towards the enhanced, the higher end products? Or is the market still at kind of that contractor grade basic? What are you seeing? I think, I think you know, with the interest rates being so high, I mean, there is obviously a discussion about capital, right? So there is always a question about what is the capex and what is the opex, right? So yes, we definitely see some price pressure when it comes to contractors wanting to buy something. Uh, at a lower cost and obviously trying to uh, serve the customer's needs. But they also recognize the, the benefits you would get with some advanced controls in the future, right? Uh, and people are starting to shift and, you know, uh, in, their, in their perspective of why those things are important. So controls is no, no longer about just energy savings and the rebate dollars you would get with that, right? But truly creates a differentiator for uh, an environment, right? You are able to now dim, you are able to actually set scenes, you are able to uh, articulate sort of the, you know, the lighting environment around, around you. Um, and that's important for, for organizations like us, sure. where our, our employees benefit from having different light levels, right? Somebody might be sensitive, somebody may not be sensitive, right? So you have to cater to those, your employees as well for, for those type of requirements. So we are seeing people understanding the value of controls and why they need to kind of think about you know doing the right thing right beyond just energy savings well i noticed that when i walked through your customer service area there were some areas that would be too dark for me yeah. and then there are other areas that for my age and i are just perfect right so i, I do understand that so you and i uh, are, are filming this uh, after the election yeah and there has been a lot of discussion about tariffs and china tariffs mm -hmm. Does this does the election affect the way that you're going to do business in 2025? Are you making plans, changing of course. plans? Um, yeah. So I think you know, uh, you know, President Trump has already announced the fact that he wants to tariff more than than what has already been put in place. Um, I think when the original tariff came into place in 20, 2018, 2019 time period, right? Maxlet has already uh, de-risked themselves from, from, from those tariffs. So today, most of our manufacturing happens in Mexico. We are outsourcing product also from some other South Asian countries, uh, from South, South, South Korea, for example. So for the most part, we are OK in terms of our um, footprint of the operations and how we have laid that out. So, but yeah, those things are still important, right? There are still some certain components we do actually purchase directly from China. Um, so yes, we have to kind of think about ways of mitigating those going forward. You know, the thing that I noticed in 2018 or 19, I can't remember what year it was with those tariffs, I think it helped the industry get some higher prices. It did, uh, but I think, you know, we're also seeing, uh, there's, there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of supply coming in, right? So, you know, it's always a demand and supply type of an equation, right? So you right. see some, some pressure on that. Uh, but yes, I do agree with you that, you know, some of those things actually help elevate, um, you know, what the right. average ASP looked like. Okay, wrapping up, any closing comments? No, thanks for coming here. You know, CMAX uh, is a great offering. You know, we certainly want to encourage our customers to understand what the value proposition of CMAX is. Uh, at the end of the day, it's really simple, it's versatile, it's future ready. And now with our partners we have chosen, we also offer you scalable technology. So that's what CMAX well, is all about. I've wanted to visit MaxLite for years, and I'm glad you finally invited me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you coming. Thank all you. All right, thank you.